Are you a thief? I'm looking for a merchant. And I hate the fact that I've got no clue how to bloody well get to them. Seriously, why is this place locked? Why? Let me in. I could... Is this like a private club? Am I not invited? Seems to bloody well be the case. Uh, fine. Well, in that case, uh, can't get to a shopkeeper. I think I want to set my eyes on the notice board. And after that, see if we can find Triss. And in the meantime, God, how many possible interesting things I'm going to be missing inside of this city because I don't know where to look. It's a nice city. I love how it looks. But it's just so big and I haven't even seen half of it. There's a blacksmith here again. Awesome. Got to love a proper blacksmith. Greetings, good sir. You need something sharpened, reforged. Repaired, Gwent, the usual. But first up, let me see what you're peddling. What do you have on offer? Uh, you don't exactly have a lot of stuff on offer that I would like to have, but I did sell you some swords, so I'm very happy with that. But that does begs the question. Okay, you are a blacksmith, a journeyman blacksmith. That's not amateur, that means you should be capable of making me some witcher gear, right? Witcher swords and whatnot. You can make me a griffin silver sword. And also the enhanced one. I don't use this. And I so wish I could actually compare this to what I currently got properly. Like, okay, right now I would lose frost damage and a chance to freeze, but I would get, I would get more experience from monsters and sign intensity also because it is a griffin silver sword. Oh, you know what? I'll make it. I'm not sure if I'll use it, but I might end up using it once I can actually use this. So, yeah. Please make me that. Thank you. I'll later find you in case I want to make this. Um, or make this. You also had something else. I could make a feline steel sword, which is all focused on bleeding and bonus experience from non-humans. The relic swords are a little bit more special in regards to possible effects. I mean, they're still good as steel swords, but hmm. Anyway, Griven steel sword as well. It's better than my normal sword. I'll make it for the sake of making it. And maybe, maybe using it in the future. Still though, thank you very much. So, no Gwent cards for sale, which is fine. But you do play. So, let's. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Now, let us see. Northern Realms all the way. I think I'm good. I... I'm not too sure about both having Impensable Fog and Biting Frost. Like, could I remove one of them? I could. I run out of special cards, but this might be for the better. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. And... Oh, you're playing monsters. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I certainly want by the Frost at this rate. Maybe not the Blue Stripe Commanders as a result. Ooh, I have film Trent and Mirth. Okay, that's nice. Uh, that means... Maybe remove Death Mold. I kind of want Clear Weather as well. God. Yeah, I think I'm going to remove Death Mold. For a Crimson Reaver. That's fine, but I could maybe use something better, so... Uh, not brilliant. I hope... You are so going to use weather cards. Oh, you've got a Fiend card. Oof. Uh, I fear bad stuff is going to happen in my nearby future. And your ability in the double strength of all close combat units. Oh no, this is going to be bad. This is going to be so bad. I hope I'll be able to survive this. But I can boost stuff up towards 8 at least. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that is terrifying. I so wish I had a Scorch card right now. Other than Film Trent and Mirth. Um, I'll just place some Ballistae down and such. Siege Engines all the way. Or not. 
I don't like you. I really don't like you already. And now you're going to scorch, right? Oh no. God, this is bad. This is bad. Like, sure, I could scorch right now, but what's that going to do? Barely anything at all. I could use Commander's Warhorn. I'm probably going to lose this one. I was not prepared for a monster deck. Let's say that. You've passed. Alright, in that case, I guess I'll go all out. There we go. At least I won, and I can bring you back with Yennefer. So, that's at least one victory. But I am slightly at a disadvantage right now. Because you might even have those crone cards. I've got a Scorch. Oh yeah. Alright, well in that case. Uh, do I want to pull out another... Just miss of rain and whatnot? Like, I might want to save the Scorch card for the next turn. Maybe. I'll just play you, for now. We'll see where this goes. That's terrifying, but I got a Scorch, that's fine. So, if I just keep on playing this, you will be at a strength of 7. No worries at all. And you just keep playing stuff like that. Throw them. You had two Aracast cards in your hands. Brilliant. Not my problem anymore. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm worrying about. <laughs> but this is so lovely. I could Scorch right now and destroy three units. And then I could Scorch again to destroy you. So, hell yeah. Film Trent and Mirth, you're required to the battlefields. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love that card. And there's clear weather. I think you've just lost, friend. Well, one final Scorch card because Scorch is awesome and I can finally properly use this. You don't stand a chance. Okay, that's a little bit terrifying, but I still won. And to go all out because I can. You were so sneaky with that Scorch card. I don't like that. I really have to worry for that in the future. But hey, here we go. Victory for me. Thank you, good sir. And what have we got? Arakas Behemoth. Is that the one that actually summons all the units? It is. Well, technically all Arakas summon all the Arakas, but hey, I love it. Love to have it in the future. Still need many more though. But hey, gotta love a blacksmith. Got to love another merchant at the Novigrad fish market. Oh, and there's a notice board here. I always spending days just wandering around this city and not find everything of interest. Welcome, welcome. Greetings. Oh, you play Gwen too. You look, looks to me like a Gwent aficionado. How about a look at your wares first and you take all the Gwent cards that you've got as spare. You don't have any Gwent cards. Well, that sucks. I got a book, though. Ghouls and Al Ghouls. I already know about Ghouls and Al Ghouls. Why would I read this? I mean, it's still useful. Ooh, I, I needed Urgot seeds. You know what? I'll take two. Thank you. I know I needed that. Do you have anything else in regards to booze? Maybe not the case. How much would you buy my honeycombs for? One. Really? Just one crown? Oh dear. Well, this is not working the way I had in mind, but that's fine, that's fine. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. In that case, how about a round of Gwent? And... A game of Gwent. How about it? Do you play Monsters 2? Don't play Monsters 2. Please don't play Monsters 2. You play Nilfgaard. Alright. A game of spies then. Which means spy for me. Three blue stripe commandos. Liking that. But very risky in regards to just getting pummeled. Um, 
I'll remove the Crimson Reaver, that's a decoy, liking that, and don't want to remove anything else. Ooh. I might want to remove one trebuchet, maybe. This might be a mistake. That was a mistake. That is three Commander Warhorns in total. This could be better. So, please give me some new cards. Thank you. Roach is nice. And a healer. A Fachita Riddle. Hello. Uh, how about I put you away again? Oh, I could play sneakily here. Theoretically, if I scorch both units right now, he won't be able to recover it unless he has a medic. I have a medic, I can recover Fachita Riddle and put it on his side of the field again. He won't thus be able to use two. Maybe I'll play around that in a little bit. First up, you. There's just possibilities and I don't know what I want to do. Uh, three cards for my hand. How will that help you? Like, theoretically, you've already got insight in my cards, no matter what. And I'm getting even more cards. This is fine. Totally fine. And I still got my Scorch card, so... Hmm. I might lose this first round on purpose. Oh, and I got another decoy. <laughs> this is fine. Okay, if you would like to sp skip the round right now, that would be very much appreciated. Would you do that for me? Like, okay, let's say I prepare right now. I go, I'm going to place Commander's Warhorn right here for the nearby future, which right now is a waste, but I got this. So if you skip like that, I think with two cards, I can pass you easily. There we go. That goes to eight. And... Brilliant. And I can bring one back with a medic as well. This is fine. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, and film Trent and Mirth. Yeah. Alright. How about I place Vernon Roach down? Get a little bit of Scorch protection. At least for myself. Like, I don't know what you're planning to do. Because... That's terrifying, but that's fine. Um, how about... Yeah, you will go all out no matter what, so... I'll place you down. I am kind of curious though, are you going to be playing with Commander Warhorns as well and bringing stuff like that back to bring back spies to my side of the field? Yeah, I can throw this round easily, no problem. So, you go back, thank you. I might want to add more decoys to my deck in the long run. But then you do run the risk of, hey, you might overdraw. Like, right now I still got 10 cards remaining, but if I play against another Nilf Guardian who also plays around with decoys and whatnot, that's terrifying, but very weak towards a Scorch of mine. This is fine. Totally fine. I am very weak towards weather cards right now, though, so I will have to worry at least a little bit for that. I think I'm gonna keep my medic just in case. Although, can I take a look? Do I have... No, I don't have any spies on my side of the graveyard. Oh, I'm not sure what else to expect from you. Like, you will go all out. I very likely will not win this. I will be able to destroy both of those units right now with Film Trent and Mirth. And I also got my Commander Warhorn abilities. So this is fine for now. I'm tempted to Scorch. Really tempted to Scorch. Like, that's a 20 power strike. I'm just waiting for another Commander Warhorn. Can you do that for me? Uh... Okay, just use this one. There we go, all up to 16. If you Scorch, you will only Scorch your own unit, so I don't have to worry. Okay, this is going to get a little bit more... Eh. But now I wonder. Okay, so more than 10. So I will destroy two of your units right now, right? Yes. That's good, that's good. Are you going to keep on playing? 
fighting frost. I am right now happy that I did not enact my plan over here. You've got one card remaining. I will destroy your 20 card strength units. You can't win this anymore, right? Well, you can win it like that. Really? That's just mean. That's just mean. But, hey, you desperately want to win this. You have no more cards, friend. So I'll grant you at least this one victory, okay? So what shall we do now? Are you going to pass? Because it's my turn. And I've got a Commander's Warhorn. With full power. So what else? Oh, you passed? Brilliant. Well, I have got this Blue Stripe Commando. And hey, look. I have got another Blue Stripe Commando. And you wouldn't guess it. But hey, you thought I was done? No, I have got another Blue Stripe Commando. Look at that power. Gotta love it. Ah. I just hope these people will still want to play with me in the future because I'm a very bad sport. Oh, you give me a Fryhead Brigade Recruit. That's not that good, right? It's decent, I'd say. It could be better, but it's acceptable. So, I'll take it. Which means... A note spot awaits. Sleep, sleep, thank, sleep. thank you, good sir. Mm. But right now... Yeah. Right now, I'm looking for that note spot. Right here. Hey. What have we got? Uh, wanted. Wanted? Tris Marigold. Eyewitness testimony has confirmed that Tris Marigold of Maribor, known as the 14th of the Hill, a member of the infamous Lodge of Sorceresses, is currently in residence in our fair city. Anyone in possession of information about her place of hiding, plans or accomplices is obligated by law, both divine and human, to report to the nearest outpost of the Temple Guard at once. And whoever helps the witch by giving her food or shelter shall burn alongside her. Whoa. Okay, that's not good. Uh, but where? There's a swindler about. Fair Novogradians, let it be known far and wide that Klaus Hedeling is a liar, a fraud and a swindler. The miraculous hair growing formula he sells is nothing more than well water from the bits dyed with a modicum of lilac extract. The only effect imbibing this concoction is likely to bring about is a debilitating case of diarrhea which will keep you running to the outhouse day and night. A fact which I had the dubious pleasure of learning through first-hand experience. Therefore, if this shameless cheat should pay a visit to your domicile, buy nothing and instead tell him to go suck down his own remedy. Volker Ollinger. Yeah. Wanted hot burning firewood. The Church of the Eternal Fire seeks to purchase firewood of the highest quality. Any man who can supply such product will not only be generously compensated, but will also aid the fight against heresy and lechery, for the wood will be used to build the pyres upon which mages and other such filth will be incinerated. Brilliant. His Excellency Cyrus Engelkind Hemelfart. Hierarch of the Church of the Eternal Fire. What a name. Uh, notes of the death of Joachim Schwann. Honorable Town Dwellers. I deeply regret to inform you about the untimely death of Joachim Swan, a tax collector who had served our fair city for many years. A ceremonial cremation of his remains will take place at the end of the current month. City Council of the Free City of Novograd. P.S. Since Joachim Swan's family did not wish an address to be made known, please address all condolences to the City Hall. P.P.S. Please refrain from sending letters to the letters of derogatory nature. Well, fine, but that's kind of what you're asking for. A contract issued by the Temple Guard of the city of Novigrad. Fellow followers of the flame. In recent days, several officers of the Temple Guard have been ravaged to death in a most bestial manner. An investigation has been launched to look into the matter, so the perpetrator shall soon feel the iron grip of justice closing around his throat. Anyone able to help the guardsman track down and punish this murderer, or murderers, as the case may be, is asked to report to the nearest guard post at once. A reward is foreseen. It is likewise hereby announced that any man aiding or abetting these bandits, or withholding evidence regarding these crimes, shall be punished by torture, imprisonment, or even death. Sergeant Gilbert Witchk. Interesting. And Gwent. Vimy Vivaldi cheats. To all Gwent players, 
the dwarven banker Vime Vivaldi is a villain and a cheat. Using a typical non-human non -human trickery, he conned his way to victory over me, then forthwith demanded I surrender my cards without the slightest consolation or giving me the chance for a rematch. Anyone tempted to play with him? Resist or regret? A well-wisher. Well, okay then. Looks like we've got another Gwent player, uh, Vivaldi, who we will need to find in regards to, well, getting some proper coin for our crowns, and Florence, and Orange, and all that kind of stuff. Can you not cough that loudly, please? There's a plague going on, you know that, right? Dear oh dear. Gwent Big City Players. Novigrad is a cosmopolitan city, a true melting pot of diverse diversities. It thus comes as no surprise that the free city contains a multitude of top-class Gwent players from all strata and races, each linked by the fact that they possess highly powerful cards. Geralt decided to make the rounds of the Novigrad's Gwent circuit and win these cards for himself if he could. At least we're certainly going to try. But in regards to the main reason why we're here, the pious of Novigrad. Yeah, finding Siri here would be like searching for a needle in a hay burning haystack, and Geralt would clearly need some assistance. So luckily an old acquaintance of his now lived in Novigrad. Her name was Triss Marigold. The problem, however, with that is that apparently she's wanted. And we know that that, obviously, is a horrible thing. Greetings. Yeah, greetings. Um... I have... Hi. Uh, help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short and have around. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers earn more. Old villagers pitch in, lords open their purses, ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages, dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Clearly. Oh, don't make us beg. What's the wish you for anyways? It's to help men in need. Yeah, but... <sighs> Honestly, it's time you went home. You can't just ask random people for money like that. Like, join the beggars. If you truly want, but you're butchers. Surely there must be payments. But right now, it just seems like you want another round for booze, and I'm not going to do that. It's time for you to go home. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Too long. Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Oh dear, oh dear. I am. I'm willing to give a beggar a coin if I can, which I can't. I'm not willing to supply another man's addiction. Like, I've already got enough trouble with my own addiction, which is totally a hobby and totally not an addiction. But hey, if there's a golden sturgeon tavern here... That would be me. Have the honor to announce the betting is now open. Yeah, that's brilliant. I'm not entirely sure if I'm capable of to do that. It's like, they hit hard. That's right here. I was... Uh, that's right here. I wasn't exactly planning to go here and fight with the Fist of Fury, but... Oh, dear. Well, we're here now anyway. I'll try. I'll try. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? I would like to try, yeah, but... Uh, sure, I'll go all out. I won last time, I'm not entirely sure how difficult this is going to be, but the people here seem to be better fighters yeah, than I might be. I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georgius George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Really? We should? Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. 
to engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? Have you heard even a single thing of anything I've done in Velen? On one hand, I am curious about what you have got on offer, but... How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Oh, so it's just about money? Well, in that case... Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. Yes. You'll regret that. Probably. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus George's George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Yeah, may the better man win. I hope that's going to be me. But obviously, I am not... Okay, uh, can we not get in trouble by hitting other people? Like, again, I would love to just punch your face in and punch your lights out, as they say. But it becomes an issue what? Lost your nerve? when we start to accidentally hit other people, you know? So, how about... That's, yeah, you're, st you're the person who decided to stand in the corner. I mean, that's seriously not advised when we're dealing with fist fights like that. Our winner and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. I hope you didn't shave any of those There's coins. There's Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt gate. But I'm doing this for glory and not for cheatery. You got that? Ooh, 160 crowns. Liking that. There's a lot of money to be made with punching people in the face. And also a lot of money to be lost when talking to innkeeps and buying more Gwent cards. What'll it be? Cards? Well, first off, show me what you've what got. You oh, you've got Gwent cards. Oh, I love this place. Dolblathana Scouts. Close range combat, agile. Making that, you've got a siege technician, which is a medic for Nilfgaard. Oh yeah, a Mahakam defender. Good enough. And Barclay Els, agile units. Perfect. Ooh, and Redanian herbal. I need Redanian herbal. I've got five of them. Um, Mandrake cordial is what I need. Definitely getting that. Uh, cherry cordial too. This is fine. Uh. Shall I go for the... I'll go for the Redanian Herbal as well. I need my uh, White Gold. That's the name. Well, thank you, good sir. But at the same time... How about a round of Gwent? Not hungry, not thirsty. But I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. And again, no one can ever say no against a round of Gwent. And you're playing Squirtel, and you go first. All right. Well, I've got a decoy. I've got two Katwini Siege Experts. Um, okay, this could be better. I'm going to remove Blue Stripe Commando. Two Grand Retrievers. That might be doable. Um, okay, I would maybe like something else. I'm tempted to actually get rid of my Medic here. Maybe. Maybe a silly mistake, but... Ah, uh, boy. You know what? No, 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 no. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to hope that he doesn't have any possible madness in regards to weather and whatnot, but... Oh, this might turn out to become a little bit messy. Weather will destroy me, totally. So, gonna play you. Gonna play my other Kudwani Siege Expert, boost this up, use my hero ability to fully empower this role. Uh, that's bad. And now I kinda wish I had Scorch, which I don't. Okay. Well, maybe with a bit of luck you will pass around because you think you're going to win. Oh no. Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. Very bad. Okay. Well, if you've got a 10 strength unit, that's at least something. You won't bother me too much. I hope. Oh, you're so going to destroy me, aren't you? You're so going to destroy me. Um, 
Why would you do that? Seriously? Why? Okay, so if I play this, it will be a total of 10 strength, right? Yeah. I'm weak towards a Scorch, but so are you. Why would you play that? Seriously. Okay. Hero ability, this goes up to 20. I'm weak to Scorch. That's fine, because I can bring it back. Oh, you passed. Smart choice. In that case, um... I'm going to maintain my medics for now. I can bring you back with one medic. Decoy the medic. Yeah, this is good. This is good. At least I hope it's good. Ooh, extra. Liking that. More cards for me. And I can allow you to have this first round as a victory. I mean, that's all fair and nice. I got a Scorch and a Clear Weather. And you got a Clear Weather. Hmm. Do I want to continue playing? I might want to... No. I could Scorch right now force you... Ooh, okay, okay, okay. If I use a Medic right now, I can bring back a Catapult. I can then use a Decoy on a Medic and use the Medic in the next round while still having 8 strength on the field, forcing you to use more cards. I think I'm going to do that. So, catapult of this, full strength. You will have to keep playing if you want to win this battle, friends. And a morale boost thingy will work nicely with that. So how about... How about I do that? <laughs> Oh, this is working nicely. There's no chance you... Never mind, there is a chance you're going to win this. There's a hero with that ability? That is nasty. Well, how about I then decoy my medic? You will still be forced to continue playing. I will have the next round in my pocket. Oh, really? Scorch? Mini. Oh, fine, fine. You can have this one. And you lose out on the spy. Like, you already used your decoy. So everything is fine. All I gotta do is win right now. And Sesenthesis is not going to bring you that victory. Because I... Because I have got a Commander's Warhorn. Right here. I've got a Crint Retriever. Who's enough to bring me the Equalizer. I've got a Medic. Who brings back a Crint Retriever. For that lovely strength boost. And of course Jennifer Fengerberg for the final push towards a nice eight units. There we go. Thank you. It was fun playing. And we've got ourselves what new cards? Elven Skirmisher. I think we already had that one. We did not have an Elven Skirmisher, and it's apparently a muster card. That's nice. But in regards to muster cards, the monster deck remains better with... Seriously, muster cards on things like bring forth all vampires. So much better. Anyway, thank you, good sir. Uh, I think that shall be all in that case. You were not one of the innkeeps that I was supposed to play. Like, come to think of that. Secondary quest, playing innkeeps. Olivier's unique card. Where would this Olivier be? Or Oliver? Nearby. Near the note sports. I'm gonna continue going there. Uh, I'm really, really thinking Triss is not going to be around here anymore. Like, seriously, she's wanted. Unless she goes by another name, but she's red-haired. People will find her pretty quickly if she doesn't change her appearance. So, a monster and a witch in the marketplace. <coughs> what? Heimark Hammerfart summoned all townsfolk to attend the execution. I've no concern for that drunkard, and even less respect. Hemmelfart's a fisticist. Speak softly, lest they hear you and build another pyre. And you still call this a free city? Governance by terror. That's what we've to expect now. Novigrad, capital of the world, yet they let such rabble in. 
I hope you're not talking about me, good sir. Uh, but the entire idea of putting people on pious. God. Our Novigrad. Shining a brilliant pearl amongst cities. Great. How about no? How about no? No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. How about you jump inside of it then Behold if it cleanses? The flame of grace and mercy. Special pyre for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you by the others of your species. I wanted only to live like you. Help me, kind folk, please. Good luck, a Doppler. Can I do something about this? Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Dudu <coughs> do -do who? Why the stench is entirely different. Oh boy. As clear as the Talk. eternal fire. Yeah, is it as clear as the eternal fire? Oh, they burn so beautifully. Grand. Grand spectacle. White one. Take a gander over here. I, I am taking a gander at the madness, you guys. Allowing to happen. God. Well, oh well, boy. Freak. <laughs> yeah, don't you dare put me on a pyre. I will kill you. Armor. <sighs> yeah, the brilliant city of Novigrad. Less brilliant for sure. Okay, so. Uh, you're the armor. Hi. Top notch swords. You're an armorer. Do you play Gwent? You don't play Gwent. Why do you play Gwent? Master crafted armor. Do you think you can make it? Don't Master think so. Master crafted armor. Think you could make me some? Ooh. Uh, I did get my journeyman's papers, but I've yet to make anything akin to a masterwork. You might try in Velen. A dwarf there goes by Fergus. He might help. Eh, more like Joanna. There's no one better anywhere south of the Ponta. That be Joanna. Well, in that case, show me your words, please. Show me what you have in stock. Maybe you have something I like, and nonetheless, I've still got stuff that I can sell to you. So let's do that first. Now, as to what you've got, you've got Edwin Grelov's third map, which I would like to have, even though it's expensive. And I will also take the heavily faded notes by Hieronymus on the Witcher Elgar. Thank you. And do you have anything else? Nah, not really. Uh, maybe you can break some stuff down for me. That's all. Nah, we're good, we're good. Well, thank you in that case, friend. So long. Ah, uh, boy. Yeah, all of a sudden with this entire ordeal, people burning at the stakes. A little bit le less happy about this all, people. So, where is this... Caleb Mensch fell out. I would like to have a word with him if I can, but I kind of doubt it now. This murderer is a demon sent by vengeful mages. Me? No you sure about that? Oh, I will lollygag as much rush? as I want. Hold up! You say no lollygagging, then what's the rush? Make up your mind, pal! Oh. Uh, are you? This is Vivaldi's bank. Vime Vivaldi. Greetings. Well, well. Look who's here. The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? 
Uh, how about around the grand? No, need a loan. How's business? How's business? Really? That's the best you've got. That's like asking a fisherman if they're biting or an old gran about her health. It's a conversation business starter. Is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the Pontar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Kovir. Reaped a sevenfold return on my investment. Profit nice. from war, nice. So you might think, but then there's the non-human poll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with a pittance. A dozen or so chests and no more. Yeah, so it seems to be the case. Uh, I'd like to convert some currency. Could you help me on the right path here? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. So everyone is... Uh, hi, that's a lot of crowns. I don't have to convert it back to Florence at some point. I can just use crowns in total. Because... Oh boy, I love to see that number. But now I do miss all my fancy coins. Well, it's something at least. But yeah, um, about this whole Gwent stuff. How can I be and also, of service? Apparently a loan. Do I need a loan? I need coin. Guess I have to take out a loan. Of course, I'll arrange it right away. Just like that. Lady Yennefer of Bengerbard long ago declared herself your guarantor. Were these circumstances ever to arrive? She did. Besides, we tried and true methods for collecting debts. How do you now? Uh. Okay, apparently... Apparently you're just giving me money right now. Can I repay my debts? How can I be of service? I want to pay back my loan before it gets too much. Yeah, I wasn't aware how much you'd give me. It was just a test. Uh, fine. Want to pay back my loan. Splendid. I see you as even more credit worthy than before. Yeah, and I see you as a cheat. So how about we play a round of Gwent and I beat you into the ground, I hope. You play Gwent, don't you? Oh, sure. Because I'm a dwarf. Is that it? No. Do you also believe I know every other bleeding dwarf in existence, and at the end of each day, I deepen the mine shaft in my cellar? So you play or not? I I play. Good. Then how about a round? So play me. Stake a unique card, maybe? Why not? Well, not my unique card, at least, because I've got no unique cards at all. I'm just hoping for an acceptable victory. Oh, this is going to be bad, isn't it? And you use Square Tell. All right. Well, in that case, I got my Blue Stripe Commandos. That's nice. I don't have any spice. I do have Film Trenton Mirth. I like that. Uh, I guess I'll remove a Quint Retriever. And I'll remove Kiramets. And I get a Biting Frost in return. Not sure if I'm happy with that, but it will have to do for now, I guess. Oh, I'm not too sure about this, but we'll see. Also, what was your leader build that you already used? Extra card draw at the beginning of the battle. Oof. Okay, well. This is probably going to be nasty. I can't really make proper use of my back row. I don't exactly have brilliant cards now that I see it. I hope I can still draw a victory out of this, but I know you're also pretty good. Especially if you start throwing wither cards around. Well, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, how about... Yeah, one blue stripe commando. I can use the other one later, after you've thrown around a few more cards, maybe. I can scorch those two right this instant and the win. That would be nice. But you've got a lot more up your sleeve, and I'm not entirely sure if I will be able to do what I want to do. Are we really going to make this a weather party? Fine, fine. In that case, Siege Master. Double the strength, force you to draw a little bit more. This is all nice, right? Right, Brigade. Good, this is nice. Can you keep on playing like that? That would be very helpful to me. Uh, okay, this might be risky, but... I'm vulnerable to Scorch. 
you passed. All right. Well, in that case, um, how about I do this? There we go. All your cards gone. I won. I can bring you back with a medic. And I will bring you back as well. Maybe a waste. But I've got at least one victory. So we'll see where this will go then. I like that. That's good. Uh, how about I play you? And we'll see where this goes. I won't win this first round. Or this second round at least. You've got Triss Marigold. Oof. That's a little bit painful. But I can handle that. So I guess I'll use Biting Frost right now. Because it will bite me in the butt if I try to bring back Film Trent and Mirth. So that's good, I guess. Do I want to play my Medic right now? Or keep that for a little bit? I might want to keep that for a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to pass right now. I'm going to lose this. That's fine. Now I just hope he won't play around with too many madness. He's going to play a Scorch card once I play both my Blue Stripe Commandos. And that's going to hurt a lot. So I hope I can have the total card advantage in the end. With a bit of luck. Oh no, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. That's... That's acceptable. This might be a mistake. But you down and film trend and mirth. Destroy one of your units. Liking that, I have got a card that is a perfect Scorch target. Hold up. Vesemir is not a hero card? How is Vesemir not a hero card? If anyone is a hero, it's him. Oh boy. Alright. Uh... If he plays a Biting Frost, am I going to win? Maybe. Uh, okay. Assuming he has Scorch. He's going to win. If I place this card right now, these both become boost to 8. If they get destroyed by a Scorch, I will have 12 points remaining, which is more than his 11. I would win. If he has a Biting Frost, he would destroy his own unit. So the best way to go right now would be to play you, I think. I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, we got it. Thank God. I was kind of expecting worse, but I'm very happy with this. Can't rightly recall the last time I was so thoroughly thrashed. The card's yours. Thank you very Tried much, Faldi. Tell me, who else would have worthwhile cards? There's Marquise Serenity, for instance. She don't boast about it, but she has one of the best decks in town and uses it damn well. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, sure, sure. So that means our next target, eh? And what did we get from you? We got Fezimir. That's a nice card. Is it a card that can be put in any deck? Surely, right? It's a card that can be put in any deck. Well, do I want to rem I don't think I want to remove any of my cards right now. It's my strongest melee unit, sure. But I think I'm good right now with what I got. At least for this deck. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Well, uh, were you deemed as... I think you were deemed as the merchant. Or you are. Do you trade? <sighs> you don't trade. All right. Well, I've got a herbalist here who might have a few recipes for me. And yes, I'm running around the square. I'm keeping an eye out for Triss, but I highly doubt she will be here. Double shades. Any needs, master? Yeah, hopefully. Do you sell recipes? Welcome. Welcome. And you don't play Gwent. What have you got there? We might be playing too much Gwent. Ooh, what's that? Torn out page Necker Warrior Decoction. Mounts never panic and 50% increase to mount combat damage. It's nice, I won't ever use it, but it's nice, I'll take it. 
and alchemy. Do I have anything that I would like to craft that I can't exactly craft because I'm missing ingredients? Where the hell do I get lizard mutagens from? Seriously? No, there's not really much I can do to craft stuff except for one piece of vermilion and I've got all the resources required for that because I got the ergot seeds in the past. Uh, you do sell arenaria. You know what? I'll buy a few of those because I'll surely need those in the future as well. Thank you. And with that white gold or the vermilion right now, I can make my superior vampire oil. Awesome to have it. Well, that will be all. Thank you very much. So and in the meantime, uh, the things we bought from the armorer. Let me take a quick look at those diagrams and whatnot. Edwin Grelov's third map. Beautiful. Professor Slavko Atomstein will be furious. I lost the first map in the game of Gwent, and then the second one was stolen from me while I was slightly indisposed after a hard night in the casino. I cannot arrive empty handed at the station near the tomb on the Crookback Hills, or the professor will vis vivisect me on the spot. The four new locations I have marked on this map might be enough to protect me from his wrath. Edwin Grelov, adjutant in the natural history of Oxford Academy. And also, heavily faded notes by Hieronymus on the Witcher Elgar. Elgar placed upgrades to School of the Wolf, which you get in three different caves in the area immediately to the south of Kaer Morn. He hoped future generations of witches would find him in an hour of needs. I need to have. And that will bring us to quite some places, I figure. Quite some upgrades. Quite far away as well. Unfortunately, that will mean we have to travel all the way to Kaer Morn, and I've got no idea how to get there as of right now, and no reason to go there. So, yeah, this will just have to remain the way it is. Anyway, there's a notes board right here again, and also more merchants I would like to check out. Maybe they sell more cards. There's also Olivier. Or Olivier. He's an innkeep. He has a unique Gwent card. And I want it. Desperately want it. Oh, Riven School gear as well. Okay, I'd like to have that as well. Um, first things first, though. Did we speak to you already? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we already spoke to you. What have you got there? Oh, we didn't. You sell some interesting stuff. Not like I can use it, but hey, honestly, perfume. It's kind of interesting. And um, why silver pantaloons? Stop selling silver pantaloons. There's no need for silver pantaloons. So long. Make them at least gold if you truly want them to be fancy. Oh, anyway, uh, there is a. No, There's a bookstore. It can't be. White hair, yellow eyes, slashed face. Just like he said. Like who said? Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt of Rivia is enough. What is it? A man came to me a few years past, paid me to keep a book for you. Said you'd come for it one day. Really? Who was he? Um, he didn't introduce himself. But the book has a red cover, that I remember. I'm sure I've not sold it. All right, see if I can find it. And perhaps glance at the others while you're at it. Sure. I'm glad to look at the others as well. Be glad to look over what you got. Sure, you've got some interesting stuff. Born on the Northern Realms, Volume 1. Read for additional information. It's all read for additional information. Uh, a few remarks on basilisks and cockatrices. That's going to give me information on basilisks and cockatrices, which I already got information on, so I don't see it useful for me to buy books like these. Uh, Wondrous World of Insectoids? Maybe? But that is pretty expensive, though. Gollum, or Man's Most Faithful Servant book. Okay, uh, I'm starting to rethink this whole thing of buying books from you, because bloody hell are they expensive! Dear, oh dear. The Horse Whistler? Learn more about Roach. Wild Hunt, always interesting. Uh, the Ways of Manners of Skellige Folk. Necronomicon. Girls of the North, Oxenfurt. You know, you, you know what? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. And I don't exactly have the books on me that I would want to sell to you, so... Currently, I think we're good. But no. Message from an old friend. 
Geralt stopped by a certain Novgrad book merchant, whose owner recognized him at once. He said someone had left a book with him a long time ago, with instructions to give it to Geralt if he ever got the chance. This naturally piqued the witch's curiosity. Sadly, the book dealer did not know the book's exact present location, only that it had a red cover and that Geralt should look for it in his stacks of dusty tomes and manuscripts. Well, there's a problem. Red seems to be a very common color, so... Oh, found it! On one hand, it makes sense for books to be pretty expensive, since I doubt that they were properly mass-produced to give it to everyone. But at the same time, if books are that expensive, it's no miracle that the literacy is pretty low.